All right, now let's create the noodles. So for the noodles, first of all, I want to rotate this package a little bit. Let's go to top view and select the package and say R to rotate on the Z axis. So I press Z to 45 degrees because I want it like this. It's gonna make the, the next step a bit easier, but not too much, enough to not complicate things. Okay, so for this next step, what I want is to add here a new option and this outliner. Okay, because now I, I have only this to deselect, not see anymore the package, and also this one, Disable this in the render. So here I don't see any difference. But if I render in this way, it's not gonna be in the render. Alright? But if I put this uh, icon back and take this one off, like this is still shows in the render. Only here I don't see it. But if I render this image, I will see it in the render. Okay, but now I want another option over here because I can add more options to these meshes that I have. So I press on this icon and over here I want this one, selectable, because it's going to become useful in a moment. You can actually take off this uh, camera because we don't want to disable anything in the render. In this scene so you can take that off so I have the first three selected and now I can see this icon and what this icon does is like if I take the box and I want to move it I can move it but if I click on this icon now I cannot select the box and I cannot move it no matter what I do and this is what I want because I want to create the noodles inside of it and I don't want by mistake to move this box. Okay, so to create the noodles, you press Ctrl A and you create a curve, a Bezier curve. And this curve is all over the place, inside and outside the box, it's okay. Just go to top view, pressing 7, numpad 7, and press tab to go in edit mode. And take one of these points, let's say you take the right point, but the middle of the right point, okay? So you don't take like this or like this. The middle counts, okay? The, this middle point. And you press G and you move it as close as possible to the center of this, like this. Now it's in the center. Maybe it's not perfect in the center, but doesn't matter at all, okay? So now I take this left point. I have here because this bevel because this curve came with two points all right so I take this point in the left and I move it around the box let's say I move it here now all I have to do is extrude this last point that I have here and keep extruding it until I feel this slice of box I say a slice because basically we create these noodles only on the bottom like it's almost done, but we don't want it at the end like that. We want a full box. I'll show you in a moment how you create a full box. Just create this bottom section because I see the bottom because it sits at the bottom. As you can see this uh, curve, I have it at the bottom of the box. Okay, so let's go to top view. And with this point selected that I have here, press E and move it like this. And make sure it doesn't get out of the box. It is very important. So not like this, alright, you can see that goes out of the box, and not even like this that it touched the corridor, we don't know what's happening there, because from this top view it doesn't show, so I want every point of this curve to sit inside over here, but if this point or this point goes outside it's fine, there is no problem about that, just here I want everything inside on the middle points. So take this point and press E and continue doing this all the way over here. 
if this goes out like this, you can still rotate this in a way to not make it go outside, but it's easier just to move it in such a way to not touch that point. Okay? Because they are noodles, so it doesn't matter too much to not go out of this box. Okay, so there is another trick that you can do to make life easier, is to take this point and this point and press S and make it smaller. And now when you press E on the middle one, it becomes easier and they are more close to the main point. So we keep going like this, doesn't matter overlapping, not overlapping, we just need to cover all this box all the way inside and outside, not outside the box, uh, the near the edges I mean. And because the noodles they are not straight, or sometimes maybe they are straight noodles, but it is not uncommon to see like wobbly noodles. Which is perfectly fine. We still need uh, by the edge some of the noodles to be because we don't want to like neglect the edges. We still no need noodles all the way around. Let's say something like this. This looks messy, but they are noodles after all. It's fine to be messy. Okay, so when we have like this, on the bottom we have noodles. We go back to object mode. With them selected, with the noodles selected, I go here, object data properties, and I scroll down until I get to geometry. And in geometry, I have here the bevel, depth, and here I can make the noodles look like some kind of noodles and here you can make the noodles more thick or more thin i'll leave it thin like this because i want them as realistic as possible and you can see here you can still do adjustments i'm in edit mode so i will go and select this point and move it inside here i can do the adjustments as much as i want because after I apply this one, i am not be able to do any more changes to these noodles. So now is the time for you to take any noodles that you see that they go inside the walls of the package to take them out. Just like this. I select them and I press G and I move them and select them and move them a bit. And that's about it. Now I'm in object mode, and with this tunnel selected, I'll press Shift D to duplicate them, Z, move them a bit up, not too much, and say R Z 90. So I created another slice of noodles, and also make them a bit bigger because the box gets bigger at the top but not too much you can see here the noodle goes inside enough now again repeat the same steps press shift d move them on the z-axis a bit up r z 90 press enter and make it a bit bigger but not too much you see like already it starts to go out of the box. We're gonna fix this. I'll leave it like this for now so you can see how we fix this kind of problems. Now let's just get the noodles and I'll show you about that. What you can do about that. Okay. Now I'll go in edit mode because I can see here in the middle I have some uh, weird shapes here and I don't like that. I don't want any type of patterns. So I move this like this. To cover that middle section. Very good. Now back in uh, object mode, I take the only the top slice, with shift D, Z, move them a bit up, R, Z, 90, and here I resize it a bit up, and that's about it. Okay, so you don't have to do this box until up because now if I take all of them and move them up. 
So I select all these noodles and say GZ and move them up and uh, resize them a bit just a bit it, it is it is enough now maybe i take them let's say i take this slice and press shift d z move them a bit down arc z 90 and say that one more time shift d z Rz, let's say 180 this time, and that's it. This is enough. Now select all the noodles, right click, and you have here convert to mesh, and press Ctrl J to join all these noodles together like a package of noodles. very very good now with this package of noodles we need to do one more thing because when you go to an asian restaurant you don't see these noodles like this flat now they are very flat so to change this you have to select the noodles go in edit mode select here some vertex in the middle even it's if it's one it's totally fine doesn't matter and go to this proportional editing and say G, Z, and move them like this up. Because this is how it should be. Let's move them up, more up. And uh, now I'm in object mode, G, Z, and move it a bit down. And this is more normal to be more in the middle and less in the sides. Alright, so this is how you create the noodles.